Back. This is quote on round six and we're gonna solve the second problem that is friendly arrays. Let's see what the problem states. So you will be given two numbers n and m. n represents the number of elements in array a, a1, a2 up till an all are integers and m represents the number of elements in array b, b1, b2 up till bm. Now what they are telling is you can take any one or more elements from b and take the or bitwise or of all these numbers. You got b1 and if you want you can take for uh, b2 also and take the or already you have the result right overwrite with uh, b2's or and bm also you can take everything now after you perform the operation you will get some numbers right r1 r2 up till rn what they are telling is like if you XOR all these numbers you will get one number x you should report what is the maximum value of x that is possible and what is the minimum value of x that is possible it is possible right suppose in case of b1 only if you take some number you will get it can be maximum or b1 to bm if you take it might be minimum or b2 b3 if you take it might be maximum or minimum like that so we need to report what are the two possible conditions here for those of you who don't know or means in a bitwise operation one if there are opposite numbers it is one if there are same also it's one if it is zero zero it's zero in xor if the numbers are same it is zero and in all other cases, 1, 0 means it's 1 and 0, 1 is also 1. So, you know beta is or and beta is XOR. Now, let's understand uh, how to solve the problem. Now, if I XOR something, like what is our very basic understanding? If I want to get a max value, just generally speaking, I want to get the number of 1s should be maximized, right? Number of 1s should be maximized from the most significant bit to least significant bit. But let's, for simplicity, let's say number of 1s are more here. And uh, since the number of bits are same, let's say here number of uh, zeros max should be maximum and number of ones should be maximum. So something like this, I should get something. Now, if you observe, uh, if you do bitwise or of B1 to A1, B1 to A2, B1 to AN, what happens? Let's say, uh, for example, B1 is 1010. 0, 1, 0, okay, let's say B1 is 1010. 0, 1, 0. Let's suppose that A1 is 0000. 0, 0, 0, 0. What happens? B1 has the ability to convert its friend A1 to give 1. If B1 had a 1 on its position, it will automatically give it to A1 also. If it had a 1 here, it will give to A1. It had 1 here, it will give. Then whatever be it, irrespective of its position, this will be directly given. Right? If it have, it will give it. Now let's say A2. A2 is something like uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. Let's again do for this one. Now what will I do? If he has one, he will give one. He has one, he will give one, irrespective of this. Then if it is not there, it will directly pull it, okay? This is one and this is also one. So this is given from B, this is also given from B, this is given from B, this is given from B. So irrespective of A1, A2 up till AN, whatever happens, if B is having this bit on a particular column, then every number from A1 to AM will have that number set. So I made sense, right? All the numbers will be set. Similarly, now we got this idea. Now we also understood that in a general case, number of ones should be more from MSB to LSB. Number of zeros should be more from MSB to LSB in minimum case. In order to maximize it, I need to get some maximum number. Here itself, you see, it uh, is like for 0, 1, 0, 1, it's there. But for some operations, uh, in order to get maximum number of ones, what we'll do? We'll do bitwise or of all this, right? In Even if you do B1, A1, B1, A2, everything is same. TLE, you'll get TLE. But in order to avoid that, we can simply take B1 or B2 or BM. See, at last, our main goal is we need to max, we need to set the column bit to one. Suppose if B2 comes here and tells us 0, 0, 0, 1 is his number, does he can change this one to zero it is not possible right if one already existing he will override with one only if he has some special one something like one here these are all zeros he will convert it to one he doesn't have the ability to change the existing one to zero so he will simply add a one so instead of that uh, if you take or of this i may get some number like one 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 zero one something like that a very big uh, set of ones now I know that this is one thing, it is not affecting anything individually if I want to take everything. 
I want to maximize the number of ones. So I got the set bits here. Okay. Now let's assume uh, this case. What did I say? Like here we have one, 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 something. And uh, uh, let's say this is the number, right? Four ones and zero. This is uh, three, four and uh, one, two, three, four. Let's remove these numbers. And uh, this is again one, one, one. Now these are all some random x, some values, okay? So what does it mean? Four ones and zero ones are the big B. Let's say this as big B is the bitwise order of all these numbers. One, 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 uh, one, zero, one. These are all A. A can be any number, but at last A1, A2, A3, A4, everything will be converted to the set bits, right? Everything will be one. Okay, everything will be one. This can be anything, but I have the ability, even if A1 is having zero or one or anything, I have the ability to convert it to one. Okay, now, as we know, like I performed this operation here, that is instead of B1, B2, I performed B directly to A1, B directly to A2, and I got these numbers. Now, there are two cases here. Since every number in the column is one, it will be zero, right? Every number in the column is 1, it is 0, 0, 0, 0. This is some number x, I don't care. So, if it is even number, that means if n is an even number, we already know the minimum value. Minimum value is what? Even though if zeros are existing, because of b, if b has a set bit, I can make all the a's to that 1 and convert it to 0 in xor. So, that is the only possibility, right? We are taking the maximum number of set bits and putting that set bit to each and every element of A and taking the XOR of all the column. So now if number of zeros are increased, in minimum, if we call this as A1, this is the A1 in even number. What is the maximum number? Maximum number is I am not doing performing any operation. So suppose if 1 comes, it can come because of B. But here if it's 0, 0, it can be some A, I did not perform any operation. Then randomly it will be 1 or some other number, right? So it is just A. That is simply the XOR value is A, but if I take B, I am increasing the number of ones because of increasing the number of ones for each of the A element, the number of set bits are exactly the same. So if they are same, it becomes to zero. So that is the minimum element. Now let's think for what is will be an odd, uh, odd case. In odd case, what will happen? It is exactly the same, right? Let's say we are cut, we are erasing this part. This is one only. This is also one, one, one we performed B's operation many number of times. In odd case, what happens? We are increasing the number of ones. If there are odd number of ones, we say that it's one. Odd number of ones, we say that it's one. Odd number of ones, we say that it's one, right? Even number of ones, it's zero. Odd number of ones, this happens. So if n is odd, that is if n mod two is not equal to zero, if we call this as a one, that is if you take B and find the or of each of thing and XOR it, the maximum value will be a1 and what will be the minimum value minimum value means i am not using any of my b and setting it to one if i set it to one every column will be the number of rows in a column is odd number and it is one if i don't have the ability to change to one in a particular column then it may or may not be one right so it is zero only zero or one one can come suppose 101 it is 0 but what if it is 100 one can come but I'm just reducing my possibility by not doing any operation on that so in that case the minimum number is simply the XOR of all of this now let's understand this with the help of a solution I hope you got it we take all the a numbers and for B I understood that there is nothing much changed here even if you take B1 to a1 b1 to a2 and b2 to this and b2 to this if i or it only the set bits are getting changed so instead of that to reduce the time complexity i'm taking from b1 to bm bitwise or i just want to know what are all the set bits here so i'm calling it as capital b okay this is the capital b so this represents the uh, set bits position so if the we have the set bits position in a for if uh, second column of b is having a set bit all the column in A, A1 can have a set bit. That is, if I, if we have uh, these A numbers, 
if i exo if i or it with this i can convert this to that set bit right so that's what a or b i am taking the b i set bit if there are there to a1 now if n is even i take a1 and a if n is odd i reverse those values so what 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 was that again if uh, n is even the every column will be one that is if b had a one and a may or may not have a one b has the ability to convert everything to one if everything is one in even it is ultimately zero if there are number of possibility of ones are increased number of ones in each column is increased the number of zeros will be increased so it is the minimum number if we don't do anything it is the maximum number similarly for odd if we increase the number of ones there will be odd number of ones means it is one only in the result so that will be the max value if we don't do anything we are reducing the chance of doing or there then it becomes minimum see there is not like this one i can change and this cannot change only the exact entire row can be changed right so that's all about it so i hope uh, you understood it this is the solution i link it in the description until then see you in the next video